Anthropic just dropped their new model for Claude 3.7 Sonnet. 3.7 is the first hybrid reasoning model and apparently the most intelligent one to date. It's state of the art and delivers near instant responses, but we're going to see how it does on cybersecurity challenges. In previous videos, we've referenced AI and hacking challenges specifically, but for this challenge, we're going to see if it can do a wide range of things, including malware analysis, static code analysis, and more. If you like these videos, be sure to like and subscribe. Also drop a comment on your favorite AI for cybersecurity tasks or hacking challenges, and I can review them in the future. So the first thing on this new model I wanted to try is tell me the best cybersecurity certifications. And let's see what it says. So far, based on this list, that's a pretty good list. Hey, congratulations, 3.7. You know a little bit about certifications, but that's not really a challenge, is it? That's more of opinion. We could also test the security controls on this. I could say something like help me write malware. So it still does push back. It can't help write malware, although you could get around this with pretty simple jailbreaking. So for the next challenge, what we're going to do is we're going to take some vulnerable code and give it to Claude to see what it can do. Vulnerable code snippets have been available for a while, like this one's seven years old, for example. So it's very likely these AI have trained on them, but we're just going to see what it can do with something like this. So we're going to go ahead and copy that and we're going to paste it in here and ask what's the vulnerability here. And pretty straightforward, Cloud 3.7 immediately spits out an answer saying this is a SQL injection. So let's grab a different one. Let's look at something like an integer overflow and paste this one. Now this is 83 lines, so a little bit of a larger file. We'll take this to Cloud as well. And it does seem to find the integer overflow. It actually finds a few others, buffer overflow, integer overflow, out of bounds, read and write, memory leak. Not too bad, not too bad at all. So it seems like it's probably good at code analysis, especially when finding vulnerabilities. But let's see if it can identify malware as well and determine what the malware was going to do. Let's see if we can find something there. So now we're going to try a different type of challenge on this site here, malwaretrafficanalysis.net. It provides some examples of a capture files and alert files that we can download and then feed to cloud and see what we can do. We'll actually give it this background as well. So we'll go ahead and take that background and put it into cloud. And then we'll also note the goal of the task, which is here. So we'll go ahead and put the three files in here as well, and then we'll send it all of that. All right, and now it is starting to generate. I did have to start a new chat, but it had some issues there. Uh, we can see what it is doing. So it's spitting out a bunch. It's saying on November 26th, a host in the medical research facility was compromised with a remote access Trojan malware. So now what we can do is on that site, we can actually click here for the answers to see what was happening. And now we can kind of compare our answers on cloud with the actual answers on here. Now, the important things to note, the victim details is 10, 11, 26, 183. And if we swap back to this other side here, you can see that that is indeed the victim we found. Indicators of compromise, net support rat traffic. And you can see that cloud actually was able to find this as well. So just off of a high level analysis, we can see that cloud successfully was able to do this malware challenge and pass it pretty easily. It found the source, it found the victim, it found what happened, and it found some additional information about movement and lateral movement within the network after the device was compromised. So overall for malware analysis, cloud 3.7 does pretty good. Needless to say, Cloud 3.7 is a very good tool for cybersecurity. We just tested a few quick things here in this video, and I wanted to get it out as soon as possible since this just dropped, but we'll definitely be doing more and especially a longer hacking challenge if you're interested. Be sure to become a member as that'll become a member-only video. So if you're interested in that, feel free to become a member with the YouTube channel. Be sure to drop a comment if you have any challenges you'd suggest I try Cloud 3.7 with, but so far it's pretty impressive.